Hi, this is Don, Lighting Essentials, and uh, I'm going to show you a uh, photograph that uh, my friend Sheila made over in uh, Santa Cruz when we were doing a little one-on-one -on -one lighting um, workshop with her uh, consultation. So we had found this uh, great little stand of trees with the grass just north of Santa Cruz. Uh, there's a little gas station and something there, and then this was right next door to it. And we really liked the way the light was playing down through it and thought it'd be a great place to put our model. That's Brianna out there. And we thought it would be a fun place to put uh, a model to surround her with the trees and the grass. And uh, Bri had this great multicolored floral thing that, uh, that turned out looking pretty good. So the, uh, the problem was there was so much gusty wind. It wasn't terrible, you know, like driving wind, but it was gusting. Uh, you'd stand there and all of a sudden a big blast of wind would come along and um, putting up something with the power that we needed to light Brianna up um, just uh, wasn't going to happen at that point. We just needed to have uh, uh, something smaller and more compact, something that I could hold. So we're using a 43 inch uh, soft lighter here. That's a bounce umbrella with a soft uh, diffuser on the front. There's a single speed light inside at full power and uh, this photograph I believe this photograph was done at f9 so at f9 uh, so we could get the highlights of the the sun coming through and also keep some of the ambient going on through here at f9 we really did have to bring the umbrella in this close of Brie to light her up so uh, ran out of uh, shutter sync speed with this so we really needed to to make this work I knew that if we uh, if we did it right, we could pull it off and make a pretty interesting photograph. So what we've done here is put the camera on a tripod. The tripod isn't going to move, so uh, Sheila created this, um, this photograph and knew this is what she wanted. The ambient looks good, the highlights look good, everything coming through, all of this looks good. Bree doesn't look so good. You get the high sunlight coming right down across the top of her head and her face is in shadow. So once the photograph was uh, composed she decided then to uh, work on her ambient which is the next thing you do find the exposure at the shutter sync speed that you're going to use and the aperture that makes the shot look right so at f9 everything looks pretty good except Brie that's okay we're gonna fix Brie with the light right here so I, I had to set the light at a distance to give f nine on Brie. That was the uh, that was the goal. Um, as a matter of fact, Brie is actually F10, I believe, just a third of a stop over to brighten her up, make her a little bit brighter than the background. <coughs> the um, the goal was to make this thing look very natural, and you can see this umbrella is lighting up this tree a little bit. You can see the tree without the flash on it and you can see the tree with the flash and that was not really what Sheila wanted so what we're going to do is so simple um, that it's kind of it's kind of fun and it'll show you how easy it is to do The cameras on a tripod it's not moving so this tree is in the same spot this tree is and so let's bring our guides down right here just above this umbrella as you can see the light above the umbrella here that looks pretty much the same right in here that's where the light doesn't look so nor uh, normal anymore. All of this is coming in and this is just too light. You can see the darkness over here. Let's pull a guide out right out to the middle of these trees. Where there's not going to be anything affected from the strobe. And down into the bushes right about there. You can see these bushes and these, these, are, these little plants just about the same exposure. Okay, so I'm going to grab this area and leaving the selection tool uh, on there I'm gonna grab it put the shift key down and drag it right over to the other image it'll put it pixel for pixel with the shift key down right on the same spot that I had captured on this side so then I'm gonna say control J move it up to a new layer as you can see right over here go back to the move tool grab the layer hold the shift key down and drag it to this side doesn't matter where I drag it it snaps right back into where 
those guides are. So we'll take the guides out like this and we will zoom up a little bit to see if that tree indeed fit and it's off just by a little bit. Looks like the tripod moved probably in one of those gusts of wind. So I'm going to hit the uh, arrow key to the right once, to the arrow right twice and I think that looks right to me. Yep, we got a little bit of a, of a problem right here. Let's fix that now by creating a mask and grabbing black with this uh, um, soft airbrush here. Let's go and pick a soft brush. Let's pick this one here. Oh, that's way too big. Let's bring it way in here. That's a soft brush. Let's put an opacity of about uh, 50 on it so we can really work with it. And with this little light soft brush, I'm just going to tap it in here. Tap this area right like this and get rid of that line. And there we go. Anything over here? That looks all, all that looks pretty good. Just looks like that one little part of the glade may have moved from, this, from the uh, wind. So there we go. And we go back out. And we have we have replaced that lit tree and the uh, uh, umbrella with the soft lighter. We replaced it with what was there before we shot. So now Brianna looks like she's lit fine, maybe from a farther light source, but she's lit uh, in this glade and it looks just the way we want it to look. So a simple technique, one uh, that's easy to do. You just got to remember to put it on a tripod and you have to remember to think about all the things that possibly could move uh, and make sure that you've covered that uh, that contingency. So great little thing to work on. Enjoy it. Thanks for coming. www.lighting-essentials.com. Glad you're here.